Hey YouTube, it's me, Empress E. I am back with another one. This is a reading for the water signs. Let's get it, water signs. Oh, I got so much sage in this bowl. I'm gonna burn some parmesan to too. It's a nice Monday today. I took off today. Use my floats. Just so I can chill out and do this. I was going to do the readings yesterday, but too many people was pulling on my energy, and that wasn't my energy. And I'm just like, nah, I ain't bringing nobody else's energy to the table. Got to be me and spirit only. This Palo Santo don't want to light all the way. So, I waited until today. Because I knew I had the day off. So, I'm going to go get me a massage. Get my nail fixed. Probably switch it up and get a pedicure. It's too early to get a fill in. But, I'll probably just let them do it anyway. Okay, let's see what the energy is like for the week. This reading is for the water signs. Let's go water signs. Ooh, okay. We got health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul and honesty. I can always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself. Okay, this is about accountability all day long. Acceptance, I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Okay, so, okay, a lot of people, they working on their health and their fitness and they, they mental health and they heart as well because this is like a turquoise type color which put me in the mind state of the heart chakra. And the heart chakra deals with having empathy for yourself and for others. Also, you know, just having that love and, and circling this is just having that power to be honest with yourself and accept the things that you can't change. You know what I'm saying? Um, knowing that you can't accept it, expect the truth from others. And I feel like this is more so deals with your mental health than anything because up under here is envy and humor so you have to see the humor of things especially when you're feeling indecisive don't be regretful or uh don't be regretful or in, in grief with doing you you know what i'm saying because people gonna blame Okay, this is what I'm saying. Be honest when you dealing with motherfuckers uh, that get on your motherfucking last nerve. You know what I'm saying? When they come down to your mental health. Point blank in the period. Accept people for who the fuck they is and just keep it moving. If you gonna deal with them, deal with them. If you ain't, you ain't. Don't be in grief or don't be indecisive or conflicted when they come down to you know what I'm saying? Letting motherfuckers go or don't be in regret because certain things that, that was done or said in the past, you can't change. It's up to you to move past that shit and keep going without dealing with that grief. You know what I'm saying? I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. A lot of people is realizing that now and a lot of people from my past and a lot of people from people past and your past could be coming back into your life want you to you know co-mingle with them and fuck with them and shit like you used to because that was an ending you know what i'm saying to a situation because you turn you put yourself first this is self-esteem i i possess the gifts of the soul that benefits me and others you know that you benefit yourself as well as others because as water signs 
we deal with emotions and we are emotional creatures you know what i'm saying so we tend to put people before our, ourselves i know i do it a lot i will give a motherfucker my last without even realizing it. and the same person i gave my last to probably be sitting on the motherfucking stack and, and won't help me out or tell me some type of story you know what i'm saying but i have to stop that shit and stop putting myself first so that's what i'm saying put yourself first real talk motherfuckers gonna blame you for shit anyway it was your fault people play the blame game i accept responsibility for my well-being you got to accept responsibility for your well-being you know what i'm saying your mental health your physical health, you know, taking accountability, accepting your, what you can and what you can't do. You know, your limits that you set for yourself and being a service to others. You know, when you feel good when you can be of service to others because you grow doing that progress. But you got to have courage to step out there and move forward and learn just to forgive people and accept them for who they are you know what i'm saying but don't doubt that you know that motherfucker might not be able to be there for you like you are for them or they might stab you in the back of some shit you know what i'm saying i don't <laughs> i do not just have love for people real talk just have love and don't fear and i didn't even I didn't even really want to go through this deck like that, but I just had to explain what I saw. Let's get into this tarot. Why people need to be honest about their mental health. And I feel like this, they, your physical health as well, too. But I don't know. Ooh, we got strength coming set. Oh, okay. Strength came out sideways. Somebody trying to have the strength when it comes to being honest. This person, we got the page of pentacles in reverse. This person could be dealing with financial, um, you know, this, having financial issues when it comes down to their money, news about money, money could be coming in slow or whatever for this person. You know, you resting and recovering, working on your mental health because you was dealing with a lot that wasn't known about this situation, a lot that was done in secret that light was shed on. You know what I'm saying? People on that bullshit, doing that moon magic. These last readings, if y'all ain't watch them, watch them. You know what I'm saying? You moved away to a calmer waters. You left the drama. You know what I'm saying? To have a clear head. To heal, basically. To work on yourself. To balance things out. To position yourself in a position in a in a position yourself to shine even brighter than what you doing. You know, you lining things up. You balancing things out in your life. You know, so that you can flourish even more connecting with the divine. You know what I'm saying? Connecting with the ethers, connecting with your higher self, connecting with spirit. This is the Hierophant. Trusting in God, trusting in whoever it is that you're trusting in, looking out at the future. And you being honest with yourself about this connection, but somebody is trying to have the strength to come in and talk about this partnership because they feel it left out in the cold and they see that you didn't unbound yourself from a situation and you didn't move forward. This could be an air sign that's trying to manifest this family. But they don't have much to offer. This person put a lot of work into something that wasn't prosperous. And the reason why I'm saying that is, hold on, let me. This air sign. They manifesting. They want to manifest this family dynamic in, but this person don't have a lot to offer. This is a page of cups. This person was not emotionally enough stable to deal with you. Basically, you know what I'm saying? They done put a lot into something that they ain't get shit out of. It ain't do nothing but cause a lot of conflict, you know, and chaos in their motherfucking life. Judgment has been served. 
this person heart is broken. You doing you. You know what I'm saying? You out here, you you getting getting it how you motherfucking live, sitting, smelling good, feeling good, looking good. All that is motherfucking good. And you got somebody that want to run in passionately because they still hanging on to this situation. And this could be a twin flame, okay, that you ain't even fucking looking at right now. And this is making this person feel sad. They want to come rushing in, fiery, talking shit. But you already know that this situation is a burden and you're going to end up being stabbed in your back. Because this person is sitting on this offer. Just sitting here. And you already in a new cycle. You done bossed the fuck up. Okay? You got an emperor and a motherfucking king of wands. Looking in your motherfucking direction. You got somebody that's older, established, got their shit together. You got a little hop. Uh, 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 somebody that's out that's an entrepreneur like you. Look good, feel good, smell good, got a lot of options, you know, doing them. They finna come towards your way real fast with some messages, okay? Because they see you single, sexy, and abundant and doing your thing, but then they also see you as somebody that's guarded. One of these motherfuckers is from your past, okay? They see the universe, then motherfucking... Blessed you. You got your fucking wish fulfilled me. You emotionally stable. You know what I'm saying? You emotionally fulfilled. You got your motherfucking cups. People want to be deceitful. You got people want to come in and win at all costs. You got two motherfuckers coming towards you. A fire sign and um... I don't know why I want to say a Taurus, but I want to say a Taurus. So I'm just going to say a Taurus, and that's the truth to be told. One of these motherfuckers is toxic. <laughs> that's this King of Pentacles. Oh, my God. This earth sign, okay? It's going to be a toxic earth sign coming in trying to create towels because they see you healing. Okay? They see you on your new adventure. <laughs> and this motherfucker is watching. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. I I feel like I ain't even got to go through this tarot because I just went through this whole damn thing. This is crazy. Yeah, they trying to cause disruption because this disruption is going on in this life and this fell under this page of pentacles in reverse. So this person got a lot of uh, and look under the deck, true. Cut the card, seeing temptation come out. Okay, so it's a lot of disruptions going on in this person's life right now, dealing with these partnerships and alliances that they made. They made these motherfuckers, not you. Ooh, I got a thought coming on the side of my face. Ooh. These partnerships and relationships was very toxic and tempting. You know what I'm saying? This is 15, 16. This is where the, these disruptions came from. Because then we got three. Tempting partnerships, which caused disruptions in this person's life. You know what I'm saying? Because they weren't speaking their truth when it came down to matters of their heart. And they was not using their intuition when it came down to that second chakra. Balancing out your emotions when dealing with people. Your sexuality, your fluidity, your flexibility. It, that could have had an overactive second chakra and was just into sex. With this temptation. Which caused disruptions in their partnerships. But you resting and rejuvenate again. Again. With this four source energy, grounding yourself. I don't even think I need to pull no more of these cards because at the bottom of this deck, what? Deception and envy. Like I was saying in the beginning, you gotta accept motherfuckers for who the fuck they is. 
ride around and get it how you get it with this woman holding this coin continue to focus on your fucking coin point blank in a period because your family is gonna be happy you happy god damn it four two four you happy you focused on your happiness you done walked away from this shit already why because this motherfucker was for the community Don't nobody want no community. We got 77 out here. <sighs> Don't nobody want no community penis or, you know, community pussy. Pussy. Don't nobody want that. No, no, no. What was I looking for? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. My numbers and my ratchets. I ain't even want to make this long, but let's see what 77 is. You are in direct alignment with your soul's higher, higher, higher purpose in life. Meditate, pray. The wisdom resides within you already. Keep up the good work. I saw that high priestess card come out. I could have been flipping through the deck. But you already got a higher knowing about this. You, the motherfucking son, happy all day long. This motherfucker trapped in fear because they being deceptive and envious all day long. And they see you happy. Like I said, this is community. This thinking man is for the community. Thinking about how they can entrap you. And my nose itching. Ah. I hate when my nose itch like this. <laughs> this motherfucker feeling rejected. This fell over walking away in disruption. So they want to cause disruptions in your transformation because they feel rejected. Hmm. Y'all 13 is the number of transformation. And that could be a transformation from that person because they probably not used to being rejected. Woo. We got three cards that they flipped over here. Pay attention to the signs. Okay, we got this partnership. We got deception and envy in your community. And it's just saying, pay attention to the signs. Somebody is a motherfucking sellout. They see you a phoenix rising and they see you let go of that shit. You let them go. Okay? And this is causing motherfuckers to feel rejected. Like I said, it's some shit. Uh, ain't good for your mental health. You need to let it go. Real talk. What you stressing yourself out about these motherfuckers for? I don't give a fuck who it is. You got to put yourself first. Because motherfuckers are energy vampires. They scorn, they heartbroken, and they you a motherfucking target. They at your fucking light. Hunt your ass like some zombies in the dark. That moon card did come out. Trying to make you feel rejected when they ass really feel rejected. Pay attention to the signs. See shit for what it really is. Sometimes you got to look past the bullshit.
Get in alignment. If you ain't already in alignment, get in alignment or you in alignment. What fell over this disruption? The portal keeper, water, the overflow. Okay, this person see you as somebody that support, somebody that's very intuitive, somebody that's very gifted, and this is a water sign. That's why they want to make you feel the way they want to make you feel, or they want to project their feelings onto you. To keep you in that loop. Because this radical expansion fell in the reverse. Over health. This person is trying to cause you to have mental health issues when it comes down to you focusing on what it is that you need to do. Your goals and stuff. And I noticed like this trapped in fear card. It's right next to this health card and this thinking man. Excuse my... Thing I got shit all over there. Oh God, wait a minute. Can I get it back? How I hit it? Oh, I need not to touch this. Real talk. Okay. But like I was saying, they, 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 at one point, this person could have had radical expansion. You know what I'm saying? They money could have been coming in fast, coming in good. But now things is not um, doing so well for them because they sold out. This person was a sellout when it came down to getting that paper. And now they, the unfertile love is coming out. You know, this is the heart chakra. They see you now. They see how you getting it. They see your honesty. They see your integrity. They see your gifts. They see you manifesting with this manifestation card. You know what I'm saying? Coming over this fin, it's rising. They see the full spectrum. They see you motherfucking balanced. You're balanced. You connected with the ethers. You know what I'm saying? You hitting the motherfucking chakras that ain't even, people don't even fucking know about. That ain't in the books. Well, they in the books. You just got to look, look, look for them. Connected with the ethers. Fuck you, man. The seamless unspeakable. All day long. Let me get a couple more cards on here. Then I'm going to end this. You got a deep knowing. And they got a deep knowing. You ain't changing gifts with spirit because you know that all that glitter is, is not gold. And you being fair. You balancing things out to be fair. That's why you getting your gifts from spirit. And this person got a deep knowing about that. And this is why you manifesting that ace of pentacles. And this is why you got motherfuckers trying to halt your transformation. 13 is the number of a transformation. They trying to throw forks in your road. Because they see your fucking milk and honey coming. And it's coming. Only thing them motherfuckers can do is delay it. For, focus on the here and now. And continue to fo uh, work on yourself and let they ass watch. And go go to the seawoods after that. And that's just go with the flow thing. Real talk. Deal with who you gonna deal with accordingly. Ass stop going to Dunkin' Donuts, y'all. They jacked up my coffee this morning. I'm like, I can't wait for losing. But sometimes it, it be good. Sometimes it don't. And Starbucks line was all around the corner. And I'm just like, uh-uh. But I should have waited because I waited in Dunkin' Donuts. Set your sights higher. You can go above and beyond what it is that you want to do. Real talk. Grow within your current situation. You're a wise one. The crows come to get me messages. When I see crows, I know some shit about to go down. When I see an owl, I know I done ascended. I done leveled up. I done gained some wisdom. 
I'm drawn to the motherfucking moon. Stay rooted and grounded. Get out in nature. Open up that heart chakra. Be empathetic towards yourself and others. Be the light. White witch. Track down your fears and desires and be the hunter, not the hunted. Okay? Don't let people hunt on you. You know where you're going. Keep going. And bask in the light. Bask in joy and light. Like it's summer, shine bright. But when you need the ret retreat and recharge and going to Herman mode, retreat and recharge to unlock the magic within and get to working on your creativity. Real talk and trust your instincts. Always. Damn, that doing work. Work, 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 work. Okay, I am apologizing for my truth. What part of you is apologizing for your truth and why? Today, soul's action. Today, be proud of your truth. Catch yourself when you want to apologize or withhold part of it. You never know whose life you will change when you are brave enough to speak it. Be the lighthouse that shines on the courage that lives in all of us. This will give our permission to speak our own truth. There is room for all of us. Today's mantra, courage is courageous. Courage is courageous. Keep going, like I said. Don't let nobody halt your mental health or your physical health. Because health is wealth. Especially your mental health. Because if your mental health gone, what can you do? Honestly. What can you do? You got to rest and rejuvenate, especially when you're dealing with things that you don't know about. When you're dealing with higher forces beyond you. When you're dealing with temptations. When you got motherfuckers trying to come through these portals and attack people. The water signs right now, we are the fucking portal keepers. Okay? We keep shit in alignment. With love and compassionate. With love and compassion. All day long. Shine your light. And listen to the sounds of the universe. Let the universe be your guide. And communicate and co-create. Okay? And we got the solar places chakra up under here. Radiant illumination. Okay? Guide that self-determination to do you. All to the fullest. A hundred percent. And reclaim your energy. Reclaim your energy back. Put your crown on your head. That purple represents royalty all day long. And carry some crystals on you for protection. And stay rooted and grounded. And graciously receive the abundance that the universe is going to give you. Okay? Because... Beyond the mind, the heart speaks. She connected with the ethers. This is the throat and the high heart chakra. Okay? Continue to trust God. Continue to do you. Continue to go after your goals. Don't worry about people and their deception in this community. Pay attention to the signs. You got to deep knowing. Accept people for who they is and keep it moving. Keep it flowing. Okay? Keep it flowing. And this is the reading for the water signs. You guys have a blessed one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Empress E, the intuitive reader. The intuitive messenger. <laughs>